Hey guys, I'm gonna make a video for you guys on um, how to practice using the new Uncle Punch. Well, maybe not all the features of the new Uncle Punch, but uh, the ones, the, the features that really matter. And um, I won't go too much into the new Patreon um, features. I will touch on them, but I want to go first and foremost into like uh, how to maximize uh, how to use Uncle Punch to improve. So, rather than go down like the list of event matches, I think I will attempt to go from like most important to maybe at least. So, start off this uh, tutorial on Uncle Punch. I believe there's like a free version of Uncle Punch, so 2.0 that's. doesn't have the top three. My training lab is the big one, and these are updated, but you can still use the free version to like practice these. You know? Combo training has to be like the most relevant important one. Why? Because um It's really important for tech chasing like fast fallers, like Fox, Falco, Falcon. And Cheek, if you set our DI to like down in a way. Um You can also use it to like uh practice combo games too. And um, let's go into the features. I like going to FD personally. So, random DI, straddle DI. I like doing down and away. That's the means of practice. And if you hold um, L and use like the control pad, you can go up and down. Left and right does like one percent. Up and down does like ten. So, tech option random. Really good. Practice right here. Because um, this shit's really hard. And it's absolutely essential, especially nowadays, as uh, <coughs> it's really hard to out neutral people at uh, even like mid levels. Fox just wins neutral, and you gotta outplay Fox, so. You can make up for that with a, uh, a punish game that you can grind out and um, master. Like, say you practice an hour a day, then you're probably gonna be like, immaculate at tech chasing. And you can do like higher percents. That's why I got crush, too hard. You can totally do like no tech. If you want to be a uh, 20 jexer and my like, guys uh, do that. Not quite my style, but maybe I will learn to piss some people off. Lose the fuck out of them, you know. So, yeah, pretty important and um, a good tip I have to say for this. I tell every time when people watch my stream. But um, say they're gonna fly. You want to like um, get to where they're they're at when they land, right? Like that. And my number one tip is, uh... Your wave dashes have to be, uh, pretty horizontal. As possible. If you do, like, this, like, straight diagonal, like a lot of people, then your wave dash is, like, kinda crummy. But if you're more horizontal, you, you fly a lot further. So, say like, um, someone's kind of far away, you gotta do like dash, wave dash, more often than not. And if you're really crispy with it, you can kind of, um, it makes tech chasing a lot easier. So, number one tip, and, um, relevant for like Fox Falco. Falcon did us. Falcon's tech roll is actually deceptively hard to cover. Sheik, um... Sheik's interesting. And this is where, um... I will go into the tech chase uh, cycle on Sheik. Down in a way, um... It's like a guarantee it's just gonna land. The kind of default that most Sheiks take.
But um, here's when um, the other way of using uh, the combo training, not just with tech chasing. Sheik's that do um, survival and no DI. A lot of people make the mistake of waiting for like Sheik to land after every down throw no matter what. So you gotta recognize when they DI in. Cause then it's like a free chain grab. Nair, whatever, you know. No DI. Oops, no DI. You know, same shit. It's like chain grabbing is the safest bet. When they don't DI in. Otherwise, they like escape. So a lot of people make the mistake. Myself included, where uh, we're like, you don't expect to shake the DI in, but this has to be like a reaction play. And 90% uh, of Falcons don't recognize that Sheiks are not gonna land in time. So, why is this, why is it good? I'm gonna punch you the random DI. And um, sometimes they'll DI away, sometimes they will not. It's really good training, you know. It's, uh, train your uh, muscle memory. Uh, okay. And um. Marth is an uh, interesting one too. Karen Meta is to do like a. Uh, You want to be able to like up throw chain mark, and um, a lot of situations um, in 2021, like there was like a nerd meta. This this style it's still really good, but uh, it's kind of more to the point where you want to like um, be able to like up air. Hold on. Well, I don't know how to make a knot too much. I think the training lab you can make a knot do that, but you want to be able to like up air Martha like almost any percent. It kind of beats uh, Nairs out in mid higher percent range. As Mars got better at the end. You can also do cross ups too. Practice step because that totally fuck up the DI. And yeah, I'm a big believer in pressing like the up air chain at almost any percent. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have um, the new Uncle Punch training lab, you can actually program it so they won't like air dodge right away. But I'll get back, I'll get into that later. So that's combo training. The most important tool for any level. Do this like an hour a day if you like want to have like a, you know, amazing consistent punish game. Even if you're not perfect against CPUs, like, people in real life will be definitely a little shittier than CPUs for like getting away. So it'll definitely still help you out, even if you're not like getting the perfect results that you want. Still helps. Okay, next attack on shield. So this one's like good for uh that is not back here. Still useful though. Well this one's good for um hitting the shields. Seeing like how he can like uh, bait out shield grabs. Perhaps not as relevant against like Fox. I think most Foxes will try to shine out a shield. Oops. Yeah. A lot of Foxes have really good like perfect wave shines out of shield, so. It's good to see like how he can hit them. <coughs> I've been liking the really cat quick uh, dash dance. 
after you like hit the shield kind of hard. See, if you do weak knee and you're flying in, it's really hard to uh, actually get away. If you hit the shield. I think if you like barely whiff, they're probably going to do something. So, if you do come up to the knee, you gotta be like a little low. And you gotta get them stronger if you like flying. So, that's one way. I also like doing a uh, practicing aerial drifts. So you can like uh. Falcon has a lot of drifts on his aerials if you don't fastball, especially. So that's really good for checking people that are like trying to counter you out of shield or even like CC. And everyone knows about like me being like good on, you know, good on shield. Everyone knows that, but, but um, everyone's used to the knee too. They're really, uh, most people are used to the situations, so that's why you can do something like stomp. Which, uh, is not as easy to pull off. But because of the drifts, you can, like, trick them. It's trickier. And there is obviously a good one. Really good, uh, zoning tool. And... It's, it's like hit or miss based on the magic plus range if they throw out a move based on the character. But they're blocking, it's obviously pretty good. It's obviously pretty good. And again, you can like, uh... A lot of drifts, see, I barely drifted back. Run at them, you can drift back. Drift forward sometimes. So, really good. I think aerial drift is really important. If you, um, care about, uh... You know, having like a more dynamic neutral as you pressure people. Aerial drift him, be fast and crazy, tomahawk him. That's my preferred way to play the game. Um, you know, tricking your opponent and not playing them in neutral. So, very important in my opinion. Reversal training. training mode. Some good ones here. Uh, Zelda. Good for passing like CC. CC like uh, punishes. If you can CC Sheik's forward tilt to, and then like grab him after, that's that's huge, for example. And that's like a spam move from like all levels of Sheik. Up tilt's like really hard. Notice here, you can grab it between the first two hits. So if you call it out, it's a free grab, but after the second hit, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed after the second hit. Sometimes you'll get it though, but if you're like pretty close to frame, frame perfect and up tilt again, then you're probably gonna get uh, get punished. So, you know, it's good for um, things like that. Another use is like a uh, practicing shield DI. So here I'm holding away to the left or to the right. Why? Because if you don't do that, then you can hit more than once on shield, and then you can't get the punish for free. But if you DI away, it, you're more safe, and you can get a punish, just by DIing away. Let's try against uh, Peach. A lot of people shit their pants because it's cheap down smash, but if you have good defense, and can DI away, you, you can get the punish. Otherwise, uh, you hit twice, and it's generally just good for defense too. Even if you don't get the punish, it's just good to not get hit more than once on your shield, obviously. Let's not go to um, beat you down smash. This one's like a pretty, uh, very easy to tell because if you're just holding away, the DI is like pretty heavy. Again, it's like a free uh, 
big hit. Peachies like to use it too, like randomly in neutral. So, another very good event match to grind out. Just learn how to like, uh, punish moves. What's some other good ones? Um, Fox Us Smash? Stomp is uh, the juiciest, but a little harder. Mark's oh, got some good ones too. Uh, this one's not programmed. Yes. I want like an instant forwarder, double forwarder. But if you do like forwarder and you block it or you CC, it's, you can counter them. Is what I'm trying to point out. Force mesh. Very easy one. It's like pretty, it's pretty hard to uh, do this one, but if you have some like uh, success rate, you'll find that in real life games like uh, you can actually escape fairly often. I usually just DI up really hard because um, most people. They kind of hit you with the tippy toes at the first hit, so DIing up is really good in a lot of spots. But not always, but usually. Partial training. You know, I kind of made a breakthrough for this one. I realized the best way is to like dash. Dash shield. If I dash shield into the laser, I find my my parachute success rate to be quite good, and that's pretty good because um, if you can like dash shield and parachute the laser, then you get a free, you get a pretty solid uh aggressive like choice right there. So. It's like a, something I learned kind of recently. Dash shielding like makes your parachute shielding apparently more easy, at least for me. Wish I had a control display set up, but do not. But um, what I do here after you taunt. Show me up. I do C stick down, Show me up. and my control sticks diagonally down to the left. Show me up. And then um, Show me up. I kind of just time all three of those. Uh, I also press R at the same time. I press C stick down and control stick diagonally down. Show me up. Slow drop training. Team important. And when down, just up here. Up here is good. 90% of situations up here. Sometimes you can do a knee. Like here you can do a falling knee. That's kind of a pretty strong choice actually. Catch him, get up attacking, or do some crazy. Don't stick back here. But up air is probably the best overall counter to like a someone hitting a shield. Slide off practice. Choose your character. <laughs> C 
seems like just holding direction you type in. So you stick down, works best across the board. Yeah, I am just holding left or right and holding C stick down for either direction. And it appears to be a free slide off. And it's important to do this, but also be able to get like the upper after the slide off. A lot of like top 50 players are getting really good doing this too. So if you don't do this, you're either an old school player or you're lazy. But yeah. Again, C stick down while uh, holding direction left or right based on the way you tech. And then I like doing C stick up after to get the up here. So that's, those are good practices right there. Okay. I'll, I'll look into the training lab later. There's like a slew of things you can do. But I can't I can't quite say that uh, I want to get into it quite yet in this video. But I will in the future, once I, uh, you know, get into it myself. Hello. Blood Dashes. Best to have as good as going east as possible. Falcon doesn't have a broken les dash like other people, but uh, it's really good for his uh, defense at least. So if you if you just wave dash on with no invisibility, then you're an open target. But if you're fast, then um. You'll have like a tiny bit of invincibility. Not really enough to like get a move out, but you can like dash and like get center stage. If you're fast. And I like I like the idea of doing this too, because uh it's a different timing for when you come from above and below. And, um, you could do this and re-grab. Make your life a little easier, but, um, it's really important to be able to, uh, do on the first grab and be fast. Because you give your opponent time to set up. But if you're not a pro at that, just re-grab once. So the timing is a little easier. So yo, we gotta work on the glints right there. As you can see, I'm working on it. <coughs> but, you know, I used to always, like, get on stage and just block. But it's so much better if you can like get on stage and like escape right away. So that's pretty much my um, Uncle Punch um, tutorial. I think anyone at any level can um, practice using this um, ROM and improve. So Uncle Punch definitely kick an ass. Consider subbing to his Patreon and you can get like the the newest version with the training lab and this event match. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Peace out.